book by me. It's called It's a Wild World. And um, just for a brief backstory, I wrote this in part because I heard unpleasantly often from people saying that queer and trans and bi and gay people were sort of a, a, a new thing or sometimes people would even say an unnatural thing and so this to a certain extent is me sort of saying like uh -huh. Uh -huh. no <laughs> All right, said Derek. Okay, here are your clipboards. Page one has the map with our stops marked in different colors. Page two has the color-coded timetable showing when we should be moving on from each place. Page three has the notes we made for each stop. Derek, this rocks. Izzy said. It's so perfect. The group of adults was getting bigger and bigger. Ms. Goldberg, their teacher, said, is my favorite trio ready? I don't know, said Derek. What if we got a fact wrong? I'm worrying we might take too long and miss the bus. Or what about if people argue with us? My dude, Izzy said. That's fair, but what could go right? Abby said, people will learn cool things. Izzy said, we could all get A's. Abby said, it'll be over in an hour, and if you need to take a break, just take one. Okay? Derek took a deep breath and nodded. Ms. Goldberg stepped up to the front of the group. Welcome to the Bubba Waiwa School Service Day Project. I am Deborah Goldberg, advisor to the Gender and Sexuality Alliance and these are our amazing co-presidents, Derek Roberts and Abby and Izzy Cohen. Ready for a great tour of the zoo? Izzy said, first stop, we're here in the aquarium house. These Cape seahorses are very fancy and also the seahorse dads carry the babies in their bellies and give birth to them. We're twins, but seahorses can have hundreds of babies at a time. Abby said, and over here is a parrotfish. Parrotfish change their sex as they get older. They often change from being girlfish to being boyfish. They also crunch up coral and poop sand. So, if you've ever been to a beach, you've been relaxing on a bed made partly of parrotfish poop. Secretly one of my favorite facts. Izzy hopped off their skateboard and read, these lemurs live with their sisters most of their lives, and they raise their children together. That way, the dads come and go, but the girl lemurs are always in charge of lemur families, and they sometimes share the boy lemurs as partners. Remember the book and Tango makes three? Well, that happens all the time. There are a ton of penguins that bond with another penguin of the same sex. They hatch the eggs and raise chicks together. Swan 
swans do this too. One in every five swan couples is a same-sex couple, and most of them have signets. That's what baby swans are called, said Derek. Abby led the way to the bug room. Butterflies can be half male and half female. This butterfly garden had two like that last year. See, half of this butterfly is blue, like a male, and half is brown with gold, like a female. Izzy said, it happens in peacocks too, and it's amazing. There's a long science word for that. What is it again? Abby said, bilateral gynandromorphism. Here's a very cool thing about giraffes, said Derek. Giraffes mostly hang out, cuddle, and do their, hey, I like you thing, called necking, with giraffes of the same sex. Necking is when they, oh, that, that's necking. We don't have time to stop, said Derek, but elephants have very cute gay behaviors, too. They twist their trunks together and put them in each other's mouths. Bearded dragons change sex depending on the temperature while they're eggs, said Abby, but the trans girl bearded dragons can lay eggs and have babies, even though they have ZZ chromosomes, which is the male pairing. A dad voice from the crowd said, I think you mean Y chromosomes. Abby said, nope. In birds, butterflies, and reptiles, the chromosomes are Z and W, not X and Y. The group arrived at the carousel by the exit. Derek checked his watch. Thank you all so, so much for coming on our tour today. He said, we hope you enjoyed everything we learned this year. Ms. Goldberg said, friends, that was amazing. You did such a good job. How do you feel? Izzy said, pumped, as their dad came up behind and gave them a hug. Abby said, that was really fun, hugging her mom. Derek said, I need to go be in a quiet spot by myself for a little while. That was a lot of people, but we did it. Just then, a zookeeper came over to them. Excuse me, he said. I tagged along on your tour, and I really enjoyed it. I learned so much. I thought it might be great to make a special Zoom app with all your stops and facts on it for people who want to learn about gay animals. Abby said, not just gay animals, trans animals, intersex animals, bisexual animals, 
animals that have families with more than two parents, too. The zookeeper said, yes, all of those beautiful things. Ms. Goldberg asked, what do you think, friends? Abby, Izzy, and Derek all nodded. Abby asked, can we come back to the zoo for free if you make our map? The zookeeper said, seems only fair. Derek's parents and Abby and Izzy's parents came back over. Derek's mom said, well team, I'm thinking lunch. And they all went off together to celebrate their success. The end. Uh...